guys, it's Scott here and welcome to today's player review. We are looking at the 91 rated right mid that is Eduardo Salvio coming in as a Copa Libertadores card in the Argentinian League. Hopefully you do enjoy this video. If you do then make sure to hit the thumbs up as always it does help us out. If you have any feedback then obviously this is only my second ever player review. The first one went down really really well and I'm excited to do more of these assuming that they do okay. So any feedback or improvements please leave it in the comment section down below. I've taken advice on board from the first one of these that I did and hopefully this one's going to be even better. So if you do enjoy it and want to see more then you can obviously subscribe and yeah let's just get into the video. So Eduardo Salvio, as I said before, 91 rated Copa Libertadores kickoff team member, coming in as a Argentinian, obviously from the Argentinian league, playing for Boca Juniors. Five foot eight is perfect for this game due to the way that small agile meta players work. High medium work rates are absolutely perfect for this position, right footed, and then he is double four star, which at this point in the game when you're spending as many coins as you are for players to improve your squad, minimum of double four star is required. So very, very good on that front. Next up we have his pace, which looks absolutely fantastic right there. Shooting stats are very nice, however, may need a tiny boost to bump up that finishing. Passing stats are solid, however, you may feel like you need to boost up his long passing. His short is already good enough, but long maybe requires a little bit of a chemistry style boost. And his dribbling stats are really nice as well. Seems like a perfect fit for this winger slash forward role. And again, because of how high the stats are, you can basically pick and choose which chem style you want depending on exactly how you want him to play, whether it be to bump up his agility, balance, or his finishing, or his passing. His stamina is perfectly fine for that kind of role, and his strength is okay for a small, agile winger. This is the team that we're going to be using Salvio in. Now, it, it turns into a 4-2-3-1 in-game. I'm going to be starting off with Salvio up front for the first five games, and then as a right attacking mid to emulate him on the wing in the second five games, so that I get a range of opinions and interesting scenarios with him in-game. A brief overview of this Salvio card before we deep dive into his in-game stats and the different attributes that he has on his card is that he is a tricky winger that plays very, very similar to Messi, but a right-footed version. So you're going to find good agile dribbling with a lot of pace. His shooting is amazing and his passing is pretty good. He's obviously got double four-star as well and can be played up front or on the wing or even as a cam if you really wanted him to. So let's get into some in-depth analysis. We start off with pace with Salvio, and he has 97 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. Now, you would think that this makes him feel absolutely rapid, and you would be correct. There are some players on this game that don't play to their stats, and they don't feel like they have 90 plus pace, but Salvio definitely does. He doesn't feel too heavy on the ball, he has amazing acceleration. And you will notice him making really good and quick runs off the ball to help with attacks, whether you're playing him on the wing, up front, or wherever. He definitely can get away from the defender. And you saw in some of these clips, he can gain a yard. Even if he starts behind them, he has very, very good pace. And so he will be able to gain that yard and be able to blitz past a player like that clip right there and then provide you with an attacking option. So I'll give Salvio a 9 out of 10 for his pace. Shooting is next up on Salvio and there isn't that much to say that is not going to be shown by the clips themselves. His shooting is fantastic and I think a lot of it comes from the fact that he has amazing shot power and his positioning is incredible. Combine that with his agility and his pace in order to make amazing runs and be able to just nip it around defenders with his amazing dribbling and you can get yourself in amazing shooting positions where he is basically bound to score pretty much all the time. So this Salvio card plays very, very well as a striker, which as I said at the start, I played with him for five games up front and then five games as a winger. And when I did play him up front, he definitely felt at home there. I played with Messi and other players that are similar to this card there many, many a time, and he doesn't feel out of place. Now, he has four-star weak foot, and as you can see right there, that is a perfect Salvio goal. Tight dribbling to get himself into space and then just bang it with that shot power that he has. Now, the one downside, despite me having double four-star and everything like that, he is very reliable in front of goal, 
I personally believe he does need a chemistry style purely to boost that finishing that little bit more. If you're using him as a winger, then maybe you will boost up his passing and his dribbling in order to just provide goals. And if he gets in the box and has an attempt at goal with 87 finishing, then it should be enough. However, I would personally advise if you're using him at striker, just boost it up that tiny, tiny bit more just to make sure that you can get that finishing boost that you are really, really looking for. And that is all that there really is in terms of negatives. Obviously, it would be better if he had a five-star weak foot. However, I really didn't feel like his left foot was weak at all. And because of how tight his dribbling is, it's so easy if you need to to get it onto his strong foot and then just bang it in. So Savio's shooting was actually amazing. And I was pleasantly surprised that he felt like an elite level striker. As we move on to the passing stats, this is probably the biggest difference between him and Messi, where the biggest comparison with this card is going to come in. So he does have really nice passing stats. It is just really his long passing that is the only downside. If we're talking about normal through balls and crossing and everything like that, his stats are really, really nice. And you will not feel that he is like a liability in your team or anything when it comes to passing, which is why he is so versatile. He can play striker and he can be really good up front on his own, or you can potentially use him like spraying those through balls from a camp position or maybe a wing position, getting those assists in your team in order to really bring it all together. However, if you do want him to play a little bit further back than striker, you may require a chem style in order to boost his long passing as that is a little low at 77. You can get it as high as 92 if you use like an artist chem style or something like that. So it is fixable, but his passing in general is very, very smooth. So let's move on to Salvio's dribbling. By far his best attribute. I love this card, mainly due to his dribbling. He feels incredible. You can see his stats on the left-hand side there, and they look phenomenal. Some may say that you need a chem style in order to boost them up. If you feel that that is the case, then the good thing is you don't need a chemistry style that gives him like plus 15 in every stat because they already start so high. But maybe if you go with something like an engine, you can get that extra balance and agility that you may feel is necessary. However, for me, this Salvio is just such a clean dribbling card. You can see the tight control that he has in all of these clips here. And his feet are very, very good with the ball. There are some players that have high dribbling, however, because of their body type, their size, and everything like that, they just don't feel as good as they should do. This is one of the best cards that I have used this year in terms of dribbling. He is up there with Messi, Neymar, players like that. He is so smooth on the ball. He also has four-star skill moves, which is obviously ideal. It would be amazing if he had five. However, you don't really need five-star skill moves for everything and it's basically just to show off. He does have the flair trait, so you can also do intricate, like, skillful passes and stuff like that alongside his dribbling. But you can see in every single one of these clips, the highlight of his dribbling is just how close he keeps the ball to his feet when you're doing purely left stick dribbling. So some people may struggle with LB or LB and RB, the, like, crab walk dribbling and those precision dribbles, or may have trouble with skill moves. The beauty of this Salvio card is the fact that he is so good with just left stick dribbles. So if you are good at it, you've seen in some of these clips how tight he keeps the ball there. It's fantastic. And I would highly, highly recommend this card if you like small, agile players with amazing dribbling, with tight ball control, because you just see how he creates opportunities, not just for himself, but for his teammates by... Like basically turning people inside out with skill moves and with his dribbles in order to create space. So definite 9 out of 10. The only reason it isn't a 10 is because his stats could be a tiny bit higher and he doesn't have 5 star skills. But still absolutely amazing card. So if we quickly look at some of Salvio's alternatives in terms of who you can put into your team that will most likely get similar chemistry links and stuff like that. We're going to start things off with Correa, who is the league SBC for Liga Santander. Now, all of these players that I've chosen are double four-star, as is Salvio. He is obviously a cheaper version and doesn't quite have the pace or physicality of Salvio, and is a little bit worse off in things like shooting. However, a very, very good alternative if you're looking for someone that is going to play in similar, like, short, agile dribbling kind of manner. Now, the main comparison is obviously Messi, 
And in my opinion, this Salvio, as I've said many times, is the right-footed version of Messi. The one real difference that you're going to see is that Messi's long passing is a lot better. And he has a couple of traits that Salvio does not. Salvio doesn't really have any traits that actually make a difference in game in terms of his shooting. Whereas Messi has finesse shot trait, outside the boot shot trait, etc, etc. George Best is another one that is going to play very similar to Salvio because of his stats, but he is coming in at a lot more expensive. So if you really wanted to blow your budget on a top tier icon, then you could go for someone like George Best who will be a similar player, but I wouldn't advise it to be honest with you. Messi isn't that expensive nowadays and he is one of the greatest players on the game. Salvio is a nice version that you can have if you can't quite afford Messi or if you just somehow can't get along with left footed players. But those are some good alternatives that I would suggest that you could potentially use if you don't want to use a Salvio or you don't want to go through the hassle of getting the links to him that are a little bit of a pain. But talking of those, let's get into the final part of today's review. Starting off with the overall look at this card. So in terms of his ratings, you saw them as we went through. I give you a 9 out of 10 for pace, 8.5 for shooting, passing of an 8, dribbling of a 9, and physical. I didn't really look too much into in terms of the highlights because there wasn't that much to show. But he's okay in terms of strength, but his stamina is fantastic. He's obviously not the tallest, so... He's just about average for this kind of player that you would expect. And overall, I give him an 8.5 out of 10. Very close to pushing him up to a 9, to be honest with you. But value, definitely. 9 out of 10, if not more. Now, at the time of recording, he is coming down in price. So if you're watching this and he's even less than I have stated in this video, oh, just pick him up already. He's so worth the money. Now, in terms of the pros, very, very quick player uh, with nice agility. His shot power and his attacking positioning are amazing. He gets in great positions and his pace also helps him with that. His link-up play is really, really good because his passing is sick. And I would say that his dribbling is one of the best on the game that I have used. Incredibly smooth and just feels incredibly tight and very, very useful as a player. His stamina is fantastic as well, as I said before. The only real cons that I can really think of with this Salvio, because it's such a good card, are that he doesn't have five star in either weak foot or skill moves, which is a shame. It's not the end of the world, but it is a bit of a shame. And he's not the strongest. If he had strength on top of everything else, this guy would basically be the greatest player in the game. And then a couple of his stats do require a chem boost, so you can't get away with using any chem style. But there are a couple of variations that you can use, and it's really not that bad, to be honest with you. It's hard to think of cons for this card. That's how much I enjoyed using it. So it really depends on how you want to use him, and what chemistry style you want to boost, depending on what position he's playing in, and what specific in-game stats you would like to boost yourself. So let's get into some recommendations for this card. So here we go with our recommendations for Salvio. First things first, this is a very versatile card. He can play up front, he can play cam, he can play on the wing, wherever you want, which also means multiple chemistry styles fit this card, depending on what position and what play style you want to fit him in. I personally would suggest if you're using him up front to use the sniper cam style because it gives him 99 finishing and also boosts up those dribbling stats to an insane level, which makes him feel amazing. You could put a marksman on him if you want, that also boosts his dribbling, his finishing, his shot power goes up to 99, and you get a little bit of strength with that as well. Maestro is a good one if you are playing him further back, or maybe on the wing, because you do get 99 shot power, you get better passing stats, and you get a boost in agility as well, which is really nice. If you are using him as a cam, I would suggest using an artist, because that actually gets his long passing to 92, which is a massive, massive boost for this card, and will make him spray those through balls and everything, which he's normally good at anyway, but even better from that deeper position in your team. Artist is what I used on him when I used him on the right-hand side, and Sniper is what I used when I used him up front, so he worked very, very well with both of those chem styles. Now, in terms of playstyle, I think it's clear from what I've already shown you and said so far, he is a very, very tricky, agile player. So utilize his pace, 
His shooting is amazing, especially his shot power, so don't be afraid to shoot with him. He is very, very good. His tight dribbling is by far his best attribute, so utilize that as much as you can and involve it in the build-up play. Whether it is by creating space for himself or by other players, you can then involve him by doing loads of one-two passing because he's got great attacking positioning and agility. He's going to make those darting runs really quickly. He can play wherever. As I say, he's very, very versatile. Don't be afraid of his four-star weak foot. It is sick, and he will bang it on that. He will not get tired because he's got great stamina, so don't be afraid of that. And just abuse the fact that his left six dribbling is amazing. Now, in terms of strong links, there aren't that many that are great on this game. Now, Tevez and Lopez are obviously part of the Comibol promo, and so you could utilize those. If Tevez is ever actually available in the market, he's currently extinct, extinct as I am recording this. In terms of icons, you've obviously got Maradona, but Zanetti is probably the one that you're most likely to use because there is no good right back link other than Zanetti that gives him a strong link and that would give him full chem in a 4-5-1. You can also use Veron if you would like or Raquel May in the middle. Soft links, obviously he goes to a load of players such as like Messi's shapeshifter card, players like that. Aguero, there's quite a lot of good ones there. And also other players from these leagues that are in the Comibol promo. So those are my recommendations for Salvio. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. I would appreciate it if you could leave some feedback down below. If you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button down below to show some support. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new. And I will see you guys for another one of these very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.